Hello, welcome back to my channel. As you can read from the title, we are gonna review these guys. So stick around. Okay, before we start, I just wanna say, this is not a promotional video. I bought every single item with my own money. So Kim, Kanye or Adidas didn't call me and said, huh, can you please review those for me? I wish, I wish Kim slided to my DM and said that can you review, but it didn't happen. So yeah, I paid, I paid loads of money. My bank account is crying right now, but that's not the point. What is these slides? When did they first came out? And where did they first came out? And when did I get them? <laughs> so, slides first came out December 6, 2019 in USA with three different colors and three different size range. The colors were Desert Sun, Bone and Resin. The age group were adults, kids and infants. So, they are expensive. Like, I'm gonna tell you the prices in dollars and prices in pounds as well. They're really expensive. In this video, I would like to share my own opinion, my honest opinion about these products. If they're worth the money and how they're comfy and how they're stylish and how they look like. So the prices were like, for the adults in US, they were like $55 and then for kids it was $45 and then for infants it was $35, which is expensive, I might say, because it's, it's eventually a foam and a rubber. So, on Wednesday, the 15th, if I'm not wrong, hold on. Yeah, so on Wednesday the 15th, I did send an email saying that the Yeezy slides will be available on April the 16th, which is the next day, Thursday. And then some of you might know that if you want to get one of those, you need to be able to wake up early and be on the website for like a couple of hours. So if you're working, it's unlikely to be able to spend that time. But since we're in quarantine, it was the perfect time for me to be able to get it. So I woke up at half six because they usually come around seven. I woke up at half six and I just gone onto the website and the waiting game started. Until I got the first one, which was the resin, I probably waited around half an hour, 45 minutes. And then <laughs> after I bought that, I tried to buy two more. So the thing is, it's saying on the website, you can only buy one, but I managed to buy three of them. The sizes I bought, first two, I bought it at size 11, because when it comes to the slides, I usually tend to get one size bigger. And then the last one that I bought, which was the Zert Sun, I bought size 10 because I checked the size guide and it was saying that size 11 is 46. I thought that size 11 is 45. So here is the thing. I watch a few reviews and they always say when you buy a Yeezy is buy a half a size up. But when I check the Adidas website, the sizes are super messed up. So I don't know what's going on with the sizes and stuff. But size 11 can't be 46. Size 11 is 45. I don't know. It's just something wrong. I just need to look after their size guide because it's completely wrong. And then they have a, this chart in there. It's saying like, is it true to size? Is it bigger? Is it smaller? And it was saying true to size. So we're just gonna see if they fit me or they will be super small. The other thing that like, I don't want to say a problem because it's it might be because of the wires or the deliveries are changed. I ordered them at the same time, like 
10 minutes in between and I just only received two. Well, it was saying the original delivery time is on Tuesday, so I'm just gonna wait until Tuesday, but hopefully the other color that I bought will come as well. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the all three colors. I just have only two colors today. So the, the system that Adidas does when they release of a shoe, either they do a draw. By mean draw, you need to sign up to the Adidas app and then you need to put your details and need to enter to the draw. They do a fair draw and choose people to buy the shoes. My only problem with that, when you do a draw, you need to give something free. So you put me on a draw to get me my money, but then I've been trying for that draw for four times, haven't been able to buy anything. And then for these, they just did a waiting room. You go onto the website and then they put you on a waiting list. And then when the time comes, you can be able to purchase the item that you wanted. But I don't know which one is better, putting on a draw, which is unsuccessful for me for the fourth time that I've been trying, or keeping people on a waiting room. I mean, online waiting room, on a waiting list, whatever. And then give a chance to people to buy. So I don't know which one is fair. I don't know which one is true. I don't know how Adidas draw is really accurate, but for me it didn't work. Before making it too long, I just want to start to open the shoes and show you what they look like. So, the first one is the resin, which is the first one that I ordered. Um, the box is like the other Yeezy boxes, if you've seen before, but this time it says slide on it. It's got a few labels and names on it, like Yeezy slide brands, and it just comes with this sticker. So, here is my problem with this sticker. It says US 11, UK 11, France 46. When did US and UK size become the same? We all know UK sizes is a size up than a UK size. US sizes are size up than a UK size. So if you are wearing UK 10 in US size, it's 11. Anyway, so this is a bit worrying for me, but let's open the box. So it's oh. Oh. So here are the shoes. I don't know if you can see the colors, but it's like a green like light green off green khaki light khaki i don't know it's just resin color this is the shoes so it's got this sole which is like i don't know it's a nice feeling and it's got the adidas um logo in the this bit and then it's got uh Writing, I'll sh take a picture and put it here. It's saying easy made in China 11 US But this is scared me because I don't know if they're gonna fit But we're just gonna give it a try and then see how this is gonna look so They look super small But they're super chunky they remind me of the shower slides <laughs> I think they use it in China um but it's super chunky. I kind of like them, but I don't know. I'm scared about the size issue because it still says US 11, UK 11. And I don't know if I will be able to get an exchange if it doesn't fit. So I don't know what am I gonna do. So this is the first one. It's a nice color. It's just got a bit like dirt on it, but I don't know if it is because of me or it, it came like that. But overall, I like them. It's super light super chunky and it's good because they look super small i don't think that i will have a huge like massive looking fit because of they're chunky my 
size like my feet size is 44 but I'm scared that it's like it's gonna be super stiff because it's like a narrow this bit is a bit narrow and I've got a bit white fit so we're gonna give it a try I will show you how they fit and then the second one is bone color which is like off white ish color <laughs> off white ish color yeah it's exactly the same exactly the same size exactly got exactly the same things as well and the colors are super cool might say but they're super chunky super light I hope they will be comfortable as well because sometimes you want to wear them with a the sock especially when you're at home I don't like wearing socks with slides outside but at home it's comfortable to wear slides with socks and I kind of like that trend not like going for a long walk can't do it yeah they are cool like let me show you side to side they are cool they're exactly the same different colors i've got another color but i wish i could have get the size 10 as well so i can compare them but i just only got size 11s now with me so i'm just gonna put it on and see if they will fit i will try them with two different socks one thicker and then one a bit thinner so we'll see how they will fit i'm not gonna show you my fit that. so the first pair you are going to see me try is the resin color i'm going to try them with a thin and a thick sock to see how this might affect the fit so first trying the thinner sock With the thinner sock, it fits well overall, but it is a bit on the tight side. It feels comfortable under my foot, but around the top strap, it is uncomfortably tight. Now I'm gonna try the thicker sock. So maybe you can see that my socks has gathered up at the top strap. It is still wearable. But much better with the thinner socks or even without and i am not sure if they're gonna become looser the more i wear them but i hope they will because i kind of like the look of them they're comfortable chunky easy slides So now I'm going to try the other color which is bone. Again, I had to force my foot wearing the thicker sock. But both pair, I mean the resin and the bone fits the same. So I think that they look super cool and overall they're comfortable. But I want you guys to let me know in the comment down below what do you think about these slides. So we tried them all and you see how they fit and how they look like. I personally like them, how they look. It's different, take on the normal slides, and it's easy, so I just said, give it a go and give you guys a review. My honest opinion, it's... Um, I don't wanna say it doesn't worth 44 part, but Thinking of what it is made of, which is foam and rubber, I think £44 is a bit expensive, but it's easy, it's Kanye West, it's a brand, and it's like limited edition slides. Does it worth it? Maybe just get one and see how you feel, because I'm 100% sure I am not the only one who's having a problem with sizing. And I'm glad I bought size 11 and the size 10 that I bought get a help from Adidas if they can do an exchange I will try to get the biggest size of these the only thing that makes me concerned is that because it's a limited edition slides and then they sold out in like three hours 
I don't think they will have any extra sizes, but I will try to see what I can get out from them. At least if I can get the size 11 of the other color that I bought, then it will be fine for me. But if I can't, maybe I will sell it or maybe I'll do a giveaway. So follow me on Instagram to see if I'm going to do a giveaway because if I'm going to do a giveaway, I'm going to do it on Instagram. So my final thought is if you got money to spend and then you can afford almost 50 pounds, I will say go for it. But I don't think it's a necessary thing to buy especially if you will have a problem with the sizes and the fit and you won't be able to get an exchange I don't think it's worth the hustle to go on a website and wait for it but if you're like me want to try a different thing you got passion for shoes and fashion and then you like to collect to collect stuff like me I will say go for it this is my honest opinion as I said this is not an advertisement or a promotion or anything else but I think that if you can afford it get it which I don't think you will be able to because that's all that unless I do a giveaway <laughs> but yeah I mean I can't I don't have anything more to say about it it's a rubber foam slides but I bought them now I have easy slides <laughs> so that's it for today please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about the slides or if you have them comment down below if you have them and if you have the same problems that I had while trying them on and let me know if you think that they're overpriced or they're good for the price and I will try to do a bit more fashion related content as well as the other thing that I do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Until then, adios.